The top sports stars get there with a lot of coaching, not just physical, but also psychological. I work with sports people all the time. And here are a few secrets from the world of sports psychology. And it turns out these tricks are equally relevant in everyday life. Tip one, being nervous is good. So next time you feel really nervous, try this. It might sound a bit strange, I promise you it works. Tell yourself, I am not nervous, I am excited. Why does this work? Well, we all get anxious and nervous at times, totally normal. The tendency, of course, is to tell yourself to calm down. Sounds like a good idea, but having butterflies in your stomach and that sense of anxiety is just so far removed from a state of calm, your body just won't buy it. Reframing anxiety as excitement works because both are states of high arousal. But while anxiety is negative and will hamper your performance, you literally feel under threat. Excitement is an emotion that will help you feel positive and look forward to the challenge. In the words of Britain's most decorated Olympian, with six gold medals, track cyclist Sir Chris Hoy, never use the words nervous or anxious. Use the words exciting and adrenalised. Tip two, don't do all the work yourself. All athletes learn how to take care of themselves. But as important as taking care of yourself is learning to let others support you along the way. In 2019, Kenyan long distance runner Elliot Kipchoge broke the two hour marathon record but he didn't do it on his own. On the day of the event, he had help from 41 pacemakers and of course the support of thousands of people who came along to cheer. Kipchoge asked for the general public to be there because he knew he could run better with their support. Who can you ask to support you in your everyday life? There is no shame in getting help when you're trying to achieve something difficult. Asking for support is a sign of strength. And positive support is priceless. Tip three, mentally rehearse. Many of the world's top athletes use visualization techniques before a big event. They're mentally rehearsing it in their minds. This can increase motivation, build confidence, and improve your performance. The more realistic this visualization and preparation is, the more successful it will be. Athletes will think about the sounds they might hear, like the crowd. They might smell like freshly cut grass and imagine what they're gonna see and how they might feel. Runners might visualize difficult parts of their race. Before becoming the fastest British woman in recorded history, Dina Asher-Smith had already raced and won multiple times in her mind. She said, I might visualize the final. I run through it as if I'm running it. It's quite fun and you kind of have to win or else there's no point. So next time you have something to prepare for, a job interview or an exam. Visualize exactly how you would like it to go. Think about what you expect to see, to smell, to hear, and how it will make you feel. Identify any mental challenges and how you could overcome these so that when you come to do it for real, you are fully prepared. Tip four, talk to yourself. Negative thoughts reduce confidence. This happens to everyone, even the greatest athletes but they have learned techniques to overcome them. One technique is called self-talk, literally talking to yourself. This can have a surprising effect on your performance. Top athletes will often be heard saying, you got this, I can do this. It helps them to control anxiety, to build their confidence and to provide focus. Muhammad Ali, often considered the greatest boxer of all time, was famous for saying, I am the greatest. But interestingly, he admitted repeatedly saying this phrase to himself long before he became successful. You don't need to say much. Use small phrases like, you are ready, you are good at this. So, next time your brain tells you you can't do something, just think of Muhammad Ali and tell yourself, I can.